Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac. We're due for a random run, of course we get uh, Eve. Because a random run's not truly a random run unless you get Eve, Samson, or Blue Baby. I realize that by, you know, hating half of the characters, I'm not really giving myself that much freedom to like any of them. Really portable slot? It's gonna be one of those runs then. Let's use portable slot with no money, see what happens. Does not crash the game, which is something that I was slightly concerned about. This is fine. Um, portable slot, I consider pretty bad. But there are s some very, very niche situations in which it could actually be somewhat okay. Now, what's our main problem is Eve. You know, like, what's the hardest part of, like, you know, pull sliding like a big object across the ground? What's the hardest part of, like, pushing a car when it gets stuck? It's always getting it started. That's where we're at with Eve, uh, every time you click that play button. You start with no momentum, and uh, you really gotta give it your all to actually get some kind of progress started. As you can see, it's taking us approximately uh, eight or nine lifetimes in order to kill Monstro here, who is pretty average as far as the amount of HP that he has goes. So really, even more so than with uh, any other character, I mean not any other character, but with most other characters, Getting that early deal with the devil on the second floor is insanely important to ensure that things don't go terribly, terribly wrong for you. And that 8-ball is not going to help us out enough. That is really disappointing. You also, of course, want to get a good item, uh, if you can, from your first boss room, your first item room, and if possible, maybe even your first shop. Don't hold out a lot of hope for that right now. Sloth might give us a tarot card. If Sloth gives us a tarot card, what would I want it to be? I don't know, man. Maybe we he gives us the Joker, and then we get, like... Don't kid yourself. I would take Mom's knife on this run. But maybe we get, like, the Mark of the Pact to be a little bit more palatable to the people out there. And that would give us a good head start, plus Spirit Hearts to maybe snag a deal with the Devil on the next floor. But let's just take out the boss first. Oh, that's bad damage, but not the end of the world. Dead Bird actually speeds up our fight a great deal. And no consumables there, because, of course, that would be too easy. All right, a Death card. Um... You know, this is a tempting room to use it on. But we're actually going to save the death card. And we're going to use it uh, maybe on the next boss fight. Or maybe on uh, just the next floor in general. Because, again, so much of my strategy now comes down to just maximizing the odds of that first deal with the devil showing up. And the death card is uh, a small but potentially important predictor of that. Seriously. This is becoming absurd. There we go. Half a red heart. We're gonna be back at full HP. No consumables. And you know what? I'm not taking that shot speed upgrade. We already have bullshit knockback. We have no rerolls. Let's just abandon it. No keys either. So this is an important uh, moment for us. Kind of hoping we get like Duke of Flies or something. Ideal situation here. Uh, Duke of Flies. He gives us an HP upgrade and we get a bomb for finishing this room. Also acceptable. Larry Jr. Wouldn't mind fighting uh, Larry Jr. Probably more likely to take damage against Larry Jr. though. But there can only be one easiest boss. There we go. No bomb. No consumables at all, of course. What do we have here? We have... <clears throat> pardon me. Duke of Flies. So I'm actually just gonna kinda cool it for a minute until uh, Duke of Flies has a lot of flies that have spawned. And then I'm gonna pop this death card and... Uh, you know, do the dirty. I I had to use it right there. He was getting a little too close for comfort. He's almost dead. This would give us a hundred percent chance, over a hundred percent chance for a deal with the devil. So just don't take red hard damage against these flies. It's the last thing on the to-do list today. Good. Squeezy is acceptable, and a one hard deal for something amazing, please. Okay, a three hard deal for money equals power, which we can't even take. And then a two hard deal for Brimstone, which I took on the last run. I'll stay away from it. Now this might start deals with the angel going. That could be okay. Maybe uh, maybe what we needed was to be forced into doing something that, you know, shook up our meta. But certainly I'm not stoked about the fact that our damage still, has improved, still hasn't improved very much. Uh, Squeezy is a tears upgrade, but, you know, I like it. I like Squeezy a lot, actually, but it's mostly for the, the Spirit Hearts, especially when you get it early game or after you've decided to roll exclusively on Spirit Hearts. It's like 
the spirit arts are the main thing most of the time and then the tears upgrade is like that's a really nice side benefit it's barely secondary could be considered the primary but for me uh it's it's the secondary bonus we're actually getting some money here portable slot what's the privilege of it what's the benefit well we never have to uh walk to find a slot machine and we have something to do with our money after uh after the first floor or after the the final floor of the depths i guess beyond just like waiting for judgments or something like that okay pretty lucky to not take damage there i think if we get uh, one more bomb pretty real chance of me actually being able to get a uh oh, careful here of me being able to get a uh access to the item room All right, the red heart is pretty much meaningless. If we don't get another bomb after this room, really two mini bosses this early? If we don't get a bomb or that sucked, or anarchist cookbook after this room, uh, I guess I will. Well, the tarot cards, wheel of fortune, real useful. Uh, oh, we got a key. Never mind. All right, so disregard everything I was talking about earlier. What we will do is actually, you know what? Maybe we still will portable slot because it's possible that we could actually make our shop worthwhile here. Let's see if this is the secret room. It is, so we can bomb our way in there. We get the shovel. So the shovel, in a weird way, I actually think is worse than portable slot. But I think portable slot is still really bad. But what we are gonna do is just, you know, use this like crazy, maybe earn another key or something, or another bomb to save us a key. Riveting, this is great so far. Oh yeah, fantastic. All right, good use of company resources. I'm not gonna do a speed run with how terrible our damage is right now, so that's, I, I really don't feel like the shovel has much to offer beyond that. Let's check out our item room. Spoonbender, it's fine. I would have preferred just a raw damage upgrade as opposed to something that, you know, helps us hit more often. Doesn't increase our rate of fire, but our accuracy will be better. But it's still pretty good, but I'm leaving this floor pretty disappointed. Was really hoping for something better from our uh, deal with the devil, but so be it. Could be worse. At least we actually got a chance to get Spoonbender. Certainly you're better off with Spoonbender than you are without it. Um, although it is uh, occasionally something that I like to reroll because, you know, my aim is okay. The ability to kind of curve shots like that is okay, but uh, you know, my aim's all right in its own right. I don't think there's necessarily um, that much value in homing shots all the time. So we're on the caves. I'm really, really hoping to get a deal with the, deal with the D or deal with the A on this floor. We'll save the pill. We don't really need the Wheel of Fortune. We're probably never going to use it. Uh, I would take either, and I would be happy to do so. As of right now, I'm really just hoping Dead Bird can kill all of these enemies. Because I am officially, yep, in a tight spot. I might just actually, I could have been killed there. Come on, come on. Tarot card is the lovers. That's a helpful one. I wouldn't expect a deal with the devil on this floor. Let's take our pill. Friends till the end, okay. I wouldn't expect a deal on this floor now. That's okay. If we're gonna, you know, get hit on a floor, it makes sense to, I mean, not that you'd ever want to do it willingly, but it makes sense to get hit on this floor because we um, ha I already have a halved chance or a minus 50% chance, again, there is a subtle distinction between them, of getting a uh, deal with the devil anyway because we got one on the last floor. I don't think it's dependent on whether or not you actually took an item. Holy water. Um, I'm not gonna take it. It's never good when you have to skip so many items. I mean, we don't have to skip holy water. It ruins a familiar, and it doesn't give you that much benefit. If it gave you, like, a huge benefit but ruined a familiar, it would be more takeable, but who knows? Maybe we get an amazing, uh, familiar later that I just don't have right now, and I want to, uh, I want to make sure that that doesn't just turn into Brother Bobby or something. All right, another pill. I'm gonna take it just in case it's uh, like telepills or something. It's bad gas. I'm starting to feel like this run might be where my luck for today runs out. I've had very good luck the past couple of runs, uh, past few actually. Even the run that we lost with Kane like three or four ago, I had Ipecac. Ipecac's a fun item, even if you can't uh, can't quite make it finish for you. We should have won that one. I just I kind of botched it, and we ran into a lot of situations where there were like toxic poops on the chest and. With Ipecac, you know, you're in a tight spot there. This is one of the main pet peeves I have about playing as Eve, or playing as any character where the run just doesn't let you get very much damage. Uh, look at how long it is taking us to actually, like, kill these eyeless ooze guys. 
We didn't even get one there. If I'd aimed more properly, we would have maybe done it, but this is just ridiculous right now. It's all right. I can wait, I guess. We got one. Okay. As you kill them, they get proportionally easier and easier to kill. I think we still got one chain of enemies left to fight here, don't we? One wave? Yeah. And it's the enemies with uh, crazy knockback. Oh, careful. Keep moving it out and out. I'm a little scared, but I'm not really concerned about dying on this floor. I'm mostly just concerned about, you know, not being able to live up to our full potential, to put it in overly grandiose terms. I'd be really concerned with getting a better spacebar item. Maybe you can make that happen. Even, like, the Bible would be better as an occasional hanged man card, pretty much. Killing some bosses instantly that I've long since forgotten since I don't need to uh, carry the Bible around to beat mom anymore. Not that I'm trying to, you know, begrudge you if you do need to do that. Everybody's got to start somewhere. Now. Peep! It's going to be a long fight. Should be, uh, well, you know, it's in the middle as far as difficulty goes. It's not that difficult now, but it's going to be more difficult when uh, the peep starts appearing. And it's going to be more difficult as the eyes start popping out. We're already almost halfway through, and it's really when two things happen at once, like when the eyes close to us and Peep jumps, or when the the creep surrounds us and uh, and the eyes coming in for an attack, or you know the creep surround us, the eyes around us, and Peep shoots a bullet and then jumps in the air immediately afterward. Should get further away just in case the creep spawns on top of me. So far, a very easy Peep fight. Second eye should be popping any second now. There it goes. Now we have some more stuff on the ground here, which I don't relish the opportunity to have to deal with. But the fight's going pretty easily so far, and if we end up not taking damage, we actually do have a, a small chance of getting a special deal afterwards. Not an enormous one. I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't your hang, hang your hat on the possibility of it happening. But it does exist. All right, that peep scares me. Sometimes, uh, sorry, that creep, I should say. Sometimes the creep can stretch way further than you would think is plausible. So we get a speed upgrade. And this is the point where I have to say, really, game? Really? This far in, and uh, still no HP upgrades. At least we should have our secret room here. Secret room contains slot machine. Portable slot pays out with nothing. Well. I know that this is risky and might screw us over a little bit, but I really want to go to this curse room and see if there's something in here that can save us. Well, 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 okay. Here's what we do then. We got Guppy's Paw. It gives us an in. We can start doing some stuff now. You're gonna take issue with the fact that I just did that, I think. Most people would. Uh, why give up an HP for three spirit hearts? Well, I don't have a chance as far as I'm concerned, barring the luckiest like vanilla item rooms and you know maybe finally getting access to a shop uh, of all time so barring the luckiest iterations of those we need deals with the devil deals with the angel how are we gonna secure those we need spirit hearts we can't take red heart damage so I'm gonna be testing out a bit of a novel strategy at least for me here just to ensure that we take as little red heart damage as possible normally I would much prefer to save guppy's paw uh, until the very end so I don't end up sacrificing HP that doesn't need to be sacrificed but we're in a bit of an exceptional case here, so we're going to do some something exceptionally different. Come on, kill the keeper. The keeper, thank you, thank you, thank you. If we can just get parallel with these guys, they're super easy, as long as they don't jump at you too much, like that just happened right there, and a little scary, but we're done. And we get a key. Item rooms, come on now. Work with me. Daddy long legs, pretty good, actually. For a unit that doesn't have much killing power, i.e. us, uh, Daddy Long Legs is going to be a big help. It's going to be one of the dominant themes of the run. We might be able to start making something okay happen here. Still, like, every fight that we get into right now is a war of attrition. Good. Uh, but we can turn that around if we just get, you know, well, a little lucky. And not even just lucky, but if our bets end up turning out in our favor, which is not entirely luck, you know. Are you serious with the amount of shots required to kill them? Uh, we did get another key, which is probably going to be worthless for us. No bombs. We could take a deal with the devil, it would probably kill us. But 
if it if it's like the mark of the pact or something, it would at least give us the spirit hearts. And we pretty much have to sacrifice HP for survive or for offensive capabilities right now. If I have to be honest with you, sure. I mean, HP is the the lifeblood of any Isaac run. But are you seeing how many shots it's taking us to kill a unit here? Like we're gonna need. If we're gonna survive long term, we need more. Let's put it that way. Now I'd love to pick up like a second spirit heart because I want to go to the curse room. That helps. This does help. Uh, because I want to go to the curse room, but I don't want to lose our spirit heart in the process. Because that would basically be like one HP down the train. Too early. Now, it was well worth the uh, the HP to come down here. Daddy Long Legs, uh, thank you very much for your help here. It should pretty much crush the Larry Juniors, like, instantly. Uh, one at a time, of course. If it actually hits the proper uh, place. Did you see how long that one shot hung in the air there? That was ridiculous. I almost got hit by it. All right, Monstro's down. Larry Jr., come on now. One's dead. Two... Uh, second one's wounded. There we go. Second one's dead. Third one's dead. That was very, very helpful. And the keys are free-flowing now. Floor's got to be getting pretty close to being over here. Uh, we've already seen all the special rooms but the shop. Oh, careful. There we go, so we've got a good one-two combo here. If Daddy Longlegs actually hits the unit, we can then follow up with uh, our own shots and it does enough damage to kill them in like one burst. Typically. Oh shit. He's gonna go for the neutral flies, isn't he? Yep. Daddy Longlegs, uh, what it, what it has in power, it proportionately lacks in intelligence when it comes to targeting enemies. The neutral fly is like irresistible. Oh man. It, well, Daddy Longlegs was there to save the day on that one at least. Scary room? Yep. Uh, I got caught up in a little bit of a spider web situation there and wasn't fast enough to get out of the way. We can't really justify going to our shop. I should be able to make it through this fight without taking damage. Uh, t without taking two hits of damage. So we do have a little bit more of a cushion than you would otherwise expect. Which is uh, great. Especially when Daddy Longlegs actually works. If I could somehow get a bomb as my consumable of choice after this, I'd be very happy. Nicely done. Deal with the angel. We will go to our curse room after this. We got guardian angel. You know, that's not the best item, but it is an item. We've got deal with the angel precedent now. Uh, another tiers upgrade, so it's a, it's a start for damage. We're going to need some kind of damage boosting item, though. And uh, half a spirit heart to go to our cursed room seems fine. The HP upgrade that we got on the last floor, sure, it uh, provided us with some benefit here. All right. It at least allowed us to get... We traded one HP upgrade effectively for Guardian Angel. When you put it that way, it doesn't sound so good. And no bombs means no secret room. But I guess you just have to deal with that sometimes. You know what? I'm going to try to fight Greed. Maybe we'll get some money. That's not greed. In fact, it just makes me sad that I spent so much with Portable Slot recently because we could buy the Nun's Habit instead. Not that it really benefits us with, uh, with Guppy's Paw. Alright, waste of a key, but I, I hoped we'd fight greed so we'd get enough money to maybe go to the next floor. Depths XL means no, uh, no deal with the Devil slash Angel probably, but at least we're not on Necropolis. It's a bit of a double-edged sword. We don't really need any special items to win, as much as I would love to become Guppy. That's nice. Um, we don't really need any special items to win. We just want them. We can make do with just more damage. Not only more damage, I guess, but, you know, more tiers would be nice. More HP is pretty much a necessity. With Guppy's Paw, we can make that HP go a longer way than it would otherwise be able to, but still. Daddy Long Legs is going to help, but it's not going to do much for us in these late game bosses. Oh, that was so bad. This has the makings of a run that uh, looks a little bit more like a shoal run than a than a cathedral run. I actually am going to go to the curse room right away, even though it's going to cost us our whole spirit heart. Ah, okay, we end up getting scapular, and it doesn't cost us our whole spirit heart. So now we don't have to worry about teleporting out of the mom fight, because we've already, you know, gone through with that. If we could just get, like, fat odd mushroom... And, like, another damage upgrade on this floor. I would be so happy. Like, Fat Odd Mushroom, Magic Mushroom. The odds of that happening, or even, like, two similar items, is quite low, but still. Daddy Long Legs, not the neutral fly. Why the neutral fly always? I should just free it so that you kill it and move on to other stuff. It's a 
against my nature. Man, these flies. Not killing flies in a single hit is uh, something that takes a little bit of getting used to. Our rate of fire at least has increased, but still. It's pretty pathetic that it takes like me firing as much as I can, dead bird, and daddy long legs to actually kill uh, which should be a very basic enemy for this point in the game. That's the kind of world we're living in here on this run though. Oh yeah, that was creep. I don't know why I thought it was barbecue sauce or something. We're gonna need to chill out for a second here. Get back to full HP. Starting to wish that I took brimstone earlier even though it would have been two runs in a row. The things I do for my country. Put this down here and then come back and uh, really hoping we get small rock obviously. So, we traded uh, our last bomb for a key and a couple more bombs. At least we had enough bombs to actually make it through this. I really don't like that room. One day it's going to bite me in the ass, I think. I would be surprised if it didn't before Rebirth came out. There's our shop. I don't even know, man. We have six keys. Why don't we at least pop in and take a look? Yeah. So, if we get enough money, we can buy the map. That is worth buying, but at the same time, the best way to find a secret room on a big floor like this, have the map, or uh, specs, or the Spelunker's hat, relatively common items, but, you know, there's a lot of relatively common items in Isaac to the point where uh wouldn't expect to find them on uh, every single run. And of course you go for the turrets, much appreciated daddy long legs, not like you're the crux of this run or anything like that. Come on, get one killed. This is it, Daddy Long Legs. Nice. Thank you for the boost, and I let you down. I let you down on that one. That's okay. Hey, there we go. One dead. Now it becomes easier. Sweet. That was really good. Kind of missed that last one, but that's okay. Isaac's head. I, um, you might as well, right? Why not? It's going to be a wild run. One deal with the devil. No valuable shops, in all likelihood. I mean, there's some that have been valuable. We haven't had the money for them. Low on consumables. Not a lot of HP. Not a lot of damage. In fact, that we're even... Uh, the fact that we've even made it this far is a little bit surprising. We're not insanely underpowered. We have had damage upgrades in the form of tiers upgrades over the course of the run, but... It's a rarity. Uh, that this... A run of this caliber will end up working out for us long term. Yeah, I uh, can't believe I didn't get hit there. Somewhere in there. Too many opportunities for me to have gotten hit to, to be more specific. Good stuff. Inching closer to maybe being able to make the map worthwhile, or the map doable. Seriously, shoot the TNT, thank you. Bloody Penny, much better, especially if we come across an arcade. We've, we've found our seam. It's a typical one. Bloody Penny. Uh, blood bank, boss trap room, with the bees. If we can snag like 2 HP there, that would be amazing. Okay, this is an important moment for us. This item room is big, uh, and the boss room is big as well. The item room probably actually bigger. Unicorn horn. Will be good if we come across an arcade, don't get me wrong. And actually, uh... Before we do that, why don't I just like at least use this for the rest of the floor? We'll come back and get Guppy's Paw. We're not gonna fight both bosses, just the first one. So this is why I didn't take, uh... That's why I didn't take, uh... Holy Water when it showed up earlier, just in case this exact situation happened, or one that's a reasonable facsimile of it. We've got Gish. Oh, this is a little too close for comfort. Uh, Gish gives us Little Gish, which is... Probably in some people's minds, maybe the best familiar in the game. It's up there, at least. The ability to slow your enemies, uh, it's probably the most common way you get it here. More than, uh, Spider Bite or Mom's Contacts. Or Spider Butt, which I don't think many people, like, hold on to after it shows up. Might be mistaken, it depends. We, we might hold on to it on this run. I can't believe this isn't over yet. There we go. So little gish. Helpful. Not game winning. But nice to have. If we end up winning this run, it's gonna take a, it's gonna take a coup. Oh, and there's our second item room already. This one has the parasite, which is uh, not very good. I think it's always possible that it has like a damage upgrade hidden that I'm not aware of. But 
It's not uh, really what I was looking out for. Let's try something a little finicky here. Maybe there's a secret room here. All right. So now we're going to be relying on finding a temperance card or an arcade in order to actually gain access to that. Ah, never mind. We don't need that. There's got to be spikes or something around here I can just hurt myself on, right? Surely? Surely? I, mean, I know there's spikes, but I'd have to use a bomb to access them. Really? That's surprising to me. Well, we're going to have to explore anyway, and we want to get a charge for our unicorn horn. Let's go take a walk here. The fact that we're still alive is uh, increasingly perplexing to me. No map, no compass, no brimstone, no mom's knife, no deal with the devil items at all except for the parasite. Guardian angel, scapular, little gish. Daddy long legs. Probably would not be alive right now were it not for daddy long legs. And that's, I mean that sincerely. Might not be easy to see, but uh, has a uh, a cooling effect on the enemies we end up facing. Like it doesn't actually cool them, but uh, it stops them from them from hitting me. I should say. So let's uh, take these guys out. It seems like maybe we're a little bit more offensively potent right now. Not super offensively potent, but but more potent maybe than earlier. Sure, double like. Final form blast assist. Most units get uh, more difficult than their final form. Blast assist, not one of them. So we're not taking. Oh, that was so bad. But we still got access in there, so I don't mind. Um, most units get stronger in their final form. Not blast assist. It's the weakest. There we go. We got him into like a bigger area here, so we have a chance. Unicorn horn is charged up. Not taking that spirit heart yet, because I want. Um, well, I may have to hurt myself to get into the boss trap room. <clears throat> so, we're just gonna cool it a little bit on uh, the whole spirit heart thing. Plus, maybe it helps me get a deal with the devil on the next floor if we don't get hit by mom. Which, who knows if that's gonna work out. There's another spirit heart there. Don't forget, two spirit hearts on this floor you want to hold on to. There's spikes. We can use those spikes if we don't find an arcade. Which, you know, it's looking increasingly likely that we will not find an arcade. Alright, thank you, Parasites. Uh, getting some bonus shots in there. Can't really do anything about that. No ability to fly, only one orbital. The list goes on when it comes to reasons this run may not work. One bomb for a chest I think is okay here. Remember, we're still trying to get enough money to get the map. We're kind of getting there. We're only a few cents away. It's going to help out. If we found a blood bank, it would be a no-brainer. We would get there easily. Ah, uh, I thought I walked on the spikes there. This is actually not so bad. Are you kidding me with, like, the length of time that it's taken us to get to the end here? We've already seen the shop and uh, both item rooms. The fact that there's more kind of useful rooms here blows my mind. Potentially useful rooms, or at least more space where useful rooms could have been had we not already exhausted them. Bomb, bomb and a key for two bombs. You know, it's a trade. Wouldn't describe it as a great trade or a terrible trade. It's just a trade. There we go. All right, 13 cents. Hey, you never know. We might get Pageant Boy on uh, on the uh, boss trap room here. Might as well go back to full HP for now. Looks like we will be having to walk on the spikes. Or just walk in and out of the curse room. Or in and out and then in and out. <laughs> Like so. Now just don't walk on the spikes here. <laughs> Could cause some problems. And just by blowing up those slot machines, you would probably expect that we could actually uh, get enough money to buy the map. So let's try it. Just very, very careful. That's our money right there. And now I've actually hurt myself to the point where I need to, uh, or I, I've gained too much HP, so now I actually need to walk on the spikes again. Twice. Uh, and Scapular gave us the Spirit Heart back. Maybe I'm a genius. Should have stayed at a half heart interval, I guess. Uh, there's another Spirit Heart remaining. We might as well go get it, because otherwise I'm going to forget. And this is going to be our last use of Unicorn Horn. Remember that. Then that's, I'm speaking to myself there. Remember that. 
We want to take Guppy's Paw with us so we can roll with uh, Horror of Babylon and Permanent Polaroid Invincibility. That will give us a window. Obviously, I'm hoping that there's some HP along the way that'll help us out as well. Maybe, just maybe, we can swing this with Horror of Babylon, but we're not going to have a whole lot of HP to make it work. Sacred Heart Man. That's what we're holding out for. Why not? I am super not stoked uh, to, to fight these enemies for a range upgrade. You know, that doesn't make me feel very good. But at the same time, maybe not that big of a concern either. <laughs> Might be able to get a consumable. The whole reason I'm fighting this is to maybe get some kind of consumable out of it in the end. And to test out Little Gish in a more maybe combat-oriented setting. Gauge our ability to beat mom's heart, or mom, I should say, and, you know, it's, it's good to me. I'm not going to pick up any HP. We're going to beat mom just fine, uh, but this is a run where, we, you know, we've got an expiration date unless we kind of get really lucky, maybe, is the way that I would describe it. I don't really want to use Guppy's Paw yet, even because, or even though we could get uh, some sweet extra damage bonuses from Horror of Babylon, obviously. Very happy to be fighting regular version of mom. Um... And the reason behind that is because our best chance, or the chance that gives us the biggest percentage chance of probably winning is if we get the out that uh, allows us to become Guppy. Curse rooms, devil rooms, become Guppy. Even if we have very little HP, you know, we can get up to three with Guppy's paw. And then, uh, then things are maybe better. I wouldn't say good, but, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility, or a Babylon, being Guppy, we would have a, we would have a shot. Whereas right now, uh, not saying we don't have a shot, but it's a little tricky. So am I right with the, with the scapular here? I'm gonna need to try to stay at a half heart interval more than uh, more than ever before. I appreciate the spirit heart. More than that, I appreciate meat. I didn't buy the map. Oh god damn it! Oh well. Maybe. Oh, man, there's. Oh. There's not going to be a deal with the angel on this floor. Well, if there's not going to... Yeah. If there's not going to be a deal with the angel on this floor... Let me see if this works. Will we lose three spirit hearts when we leave? No! Okay, sneaky little trick there. We got three extra spirit hearts as a result of a uh, strength card there. Oh, that's bad damage on my part. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Hanged man. Could be useful. All right, so we're going permanent horror Babylon. We'll uh, we'll use Guppy's paw if we get more HP later. Chances of getting a deal with the devil or angel are pretty much nil here. They might guaranteed be nil because, like a Joker card, even would just take us to the deal with the devil that leads to Shoal. Balls of steel. Oh, so good. All right, things are looking up. Everything's coming up roses. Shots are curving in. They're actually dealing damage. It's amazing that Horror of Babylon still does, like, so little damage, though. You'd think it would be a, a huge coup. It's not really. It's a bonus. It's it's nice. It's not really that much, though. Uh, and I am going to go to our... Uh, I'm going to go to our curse room. Yeah, that's why. Because there is still that off chance that we could become Guppy. Two Spirit Hearts for Guppy's Tail is... Yeah, it's the kind of deal that could eventually pay for itself if a Golden Chest works out in our favor. But really, it's that, you know, back of the mind chance that becoming Guppy could save this whole thing right now. Alright, so we have ten Spirit Hearts. Down from twelve where we originally started. Careful here. Thank you, Daddy Long Legs. Daddy Long Legs! Oh, I thought I could fly there. Your goal, uh, your goal here is principally as a wounder. You wound an enemy, then I can pop him. No problem. All right, we no need to use the ability to fly here. I don't know when I'm going to use it. Uh, maybe if there's like a golden chest or a chest that we can't access, that seems like the best use of a hanged man card at the present time. That was probably pretty lucky on on my part there. And I always like when the map is, uh, like, really close to the top of the screen, because it makes it, at least it seems like it makes it a lot less likely uh, that there's going to be rooms up there. So that's why I'm just continuing to go straight here, or to the right, um, because 
I don't see any to turn because it's probably like all dead ends up there. Not always. Not always, but sometimes. Now, of course, I turn and it's a dead end. All right. I was just doing that to uh, prove myself right, of course. Not because I wasn't listening to my own sentence, of course. That would just be ridiculous. <clears throat> More range upgrades than you can shake a stick at. There we go. That was a decent use of the, the card, I'd say. Now, it is an XL floor, so, you know, if there's going to be any floor that kind of breaks the, the map display rules, it's going to be a large one like this. And I think, I think we still have a, a lot to go. More than you may think. Come on, Guardian Angel. Thank you. And we finished the job easily. Mob Trap Room. This is great. Sorry, Boss Trap Room. Even better. HP? You gotta be kidding me. Some of the worst payouts that I've seen from Boss Trap Rooms have been on this run. In fact, we just basically have gotten no HP in general. I think we've gotten two HP upgrades over the course of the entire run. Maybe three? I did trade one away pretty much immediately with Guppy's Paw. Which ended up earning me Guardian Angel, so I don't know. Is it worth it? It's our only orbital, I'd say it's worth it. But it's not a slam dunk. Uh, homing shots should make this easy. Thank you. One of the good uses for homing shots there. Eh, tears up. Okay, that's great. We need all the damage we can get. And we have found the end. My only friend, the end. Let's be honest, we're not going to improve ourselves too much based on what we get here. I would like to. Oh, that jumped a little further away than I would have expected. Let's just stick to tears. I'll save my bombs for mom's heart. Um, but yeah, we're not going to improve ourselves too much. Probably the best that we're going to do here is a pentagram. Most likely thing is some kind of like base stat increase. Uh, HP would be nice, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath. Sure, we got HP. Which doesn't give us anything because apparently we have an HP debt thanks to strength. Still, I, I understand that now, but I think that the, uh, the strength play pretty smart. It gave me the spirit arts when I needed them the most, I guess. Better to have an HP debt that you might not ever have to repay uh, than to not get the three extra spirit arts. That's, that's how I consider it anyway. And it would be sweet if there was a run where you can get like a bunch of strength cards with Guppy's Paw on the same room. And make it work. If that is indeed how it works. I think it would be. Alright, so this mom's heart fight is almost over. Don't let the fact that this mom's heart fight was relatively easy uh, lure you into a false sense of security. This is going to be a very tough cathedral. And yes, I have decided uh, on going to the cathedral. Originally thought maybe this would be a run that's better served uh, you know, with going to Shoal. I think we would win too easily on Shoal. So... That's, that's generally how my decision-making process works. If I think there's no chance of me winning on the, the Cathedral, then I'll, uh, then I'll go to Shoal. But I think there is a chance of us winning on the Cathedral. So I think we owe it to ourselves to, to take that chance. Mostly because, you know, taking a shit run and making it actually work would be uh, some cause for bragging rights. Alright, more keys is fine. You know, we have Guppy's Tail. This curse room we're definitely going to. We still have 10 spirit hearts. Uh, no, we have 9. Uh, kill them quick. Kill them quick. Quicker. Thank you. Okay, so we didn't actually get hurt more than we would have. Because we were going to come in here, here anyway. Alright. That was surprisingly okay, even though the curse room sucked. If that had been a guppy item, we would be in a much better place right now. We may st Oh, no. We may still find ourselves in a better place, if you know what I mean, pretty soon. We'll be dead. All golden chests are uh, open for business. The fool card. Uh, that's pretty much how I feel right now. So, we have to start thinking. How do we beat Isaac? Well, the, the preparation process started a few rooms ago. Don't take damage. Especially don't take as much damage as you've been taking. We started this floor uh, with three more spirit arts than we have now. and We're already quite down. Hopefully we find the boss room relatively soon. Daddy Long Legs is not going to be much help. But what is going to be a lot of help is uh, extensive permanent Polaroid invincibility. Guardian Angel will, uh, you know, tool around and do a decent amount of damage as an orbital. And hopefully we can find some... Uh, we can find some items to bring in there with us. Like that uh, live bomb, for example. Thank you very much. 
Scumbag half red heart tried to keep me from going into the door there. And our damage isn't horrible. I mean, these enemies are not difficult. I mean, they, sometimes they're difficult, but they're uh, not very tanky. Oh, I accidentally punched my microphone. Tammy's head is better. Ah, we'll definitely take this. But Tammy's head is uh, better for us. That was sweet, a sweet use. Um, it's better for us than Guppy's paw. The downside, of course, is that we may end up losing out on, you know, 3 to 12 spirit hearts by missing HP upgrades that we could have uh, re-rolled with Guppy's Paw. But let's be honest. What do we expect to get HP upgrade-wise for the rest of the game? Maybe one. Sometimes you get an HP upgrade on the chest. This, if it's gonna happen, if there's ever gonna be a time where we'll get, like, three, it's gonna be this time, of course. But I think Tammy's head is actually, like, a pretty nice uh, boost for us. If it can even, it's like Daddy Long Legs and, and Dead Bird. If it can kill like one or two enemies. Oh, that was so shitty. If it can kill one or two enemies, then that's, that's meaningful. Uh, so we did get Poison Touch as well. Poison Touch is a huge bonus for us on these late game boss fights. But I still think there's a uh, pretty realistic chance that we just get screwed here. Or maybe we've been screwed for a long time and I'm just starting to realize it fully now that my HP is dwindling on an admittedly difficult floor. There's always the temptation to, like, whenever you take damage, be like, oh, you threw. But, you know, this is a... It's a late floor. It's a difficult floor. I can't open that yet. I need one more key. Because I need keys for the chest. And right, we're not going to get it. So I'm going to try to save Tammy's head. Remember, free damage. Free is the key. Do as much free damage as possible. The damage that you get with Poison Touch is greater, but you have to pay for it. So, you know, would you rather have a meal that's free, but not that tasty? Or a meal that's expensive, but very tasty? Well, you probably want a mix of both in your life. Right now, I want free because I have, my wallet is empty except for four blue hearts here. I think we're going to survive this fight. I'm waiting for the angel fetuses. And then we're going to use Tammy's head, which will probably whiff entirely to begin with. Or maybe no angel fetuses will show up. And we're good, okay. We're gonna have three spirit hearts. That's gonna be interesting. Telepathy for dummies. Demon baby. If one of these is the D6, I'm gonna be mad. Miter. Dead Sea Scrolls. Come on, you know you wanna do Book of Revelations. Mom's bra. Okay. Well, we're gonna roll with Tammy's head still. The the homing tears, I mean they're high damage too. That was really bad damage on my part, but um, Tammy's head has homing high damage like four of Babylon tears here, which is why I'm excited. Sacrificial Dagger helps us out a lot in our permanent Polaroid invincibility category. Oh, that was a crazy sound from War. Does it normally make that sound? How did I get hit there? The bombs started moving in slow motion. I was very confused. Thank you, Miter. Balls of Steel. Okay. We're getting carried a little bit. But we need to be carried a little bit. We've been shit on a little bit, too, so... Don't talk to me about, you know, being insulting about me being carried here. I'm gonna make sure you get Samantha, then. Oh, okay. Bad damage on my part, but another Balls of Steel pill. Somebody up there likes me. Why even get the Fool card back? Okie dokie. Thank you very much, Tammy's head. Crazy frame rate issues. Teleport. Not good enough. Alright, one chub should be dead pretty soon. Thank you, by the way, to Daddy Longlegs for helping out a great deal here. I'm starting to think that we might win this one. There's a few too many things going in our favor here. Despite the fact that it wasn't the best uh, items in the shop of all time, that miter and those two uh, balls of steel pills randomly might swing it enough to make this work. Demon Baby's doing damage. Tammy's head's doing damage. Can't stand up to that for too long, can you? Mr. Mega! Okay. It's the start. We'll start placing bombs when we get into our permanent uh, Polaroid invincibility state. Actually, we'll start throwing some bombs down now because I want this fight to be over as soon as possible. Rush me. Thank you. Come on, duty loom legs. Oh, that bomb actually hit where it needed to hit. Yep, uh, that's not a surprise. Okay, run in there. Get it done. Every time you get hit, you gotta make him feel it too. It ain't about how hard you can hit. 
It's about how hard you can get hit and keep coming. Alright, this is a quintessential, you know, easy room for the chest. Well, this and the room that's just like six flies. Okay, uh, probably should have taken damage there. Was saved by uh, quantum tunneling every piece of my body through uh, his body. Lucky me. Still a lot of floor left to cover, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Okay, the ideal room. We discovered it. Yes, okay. We got hit again, but we made this room work. Only getting hit twice on this room is not that bad, all things considered. Sure, I would love to get hit zero times. I would love it if, you know, Polyphemus just showed up on this room for no reason, too. But it's not bloody likely. Oh, okay. You know what? Why walk over top of that? I thought I could fly. I got a little bit, uh, a little bit too high on myself. Thought that I was the lady from Tal Bachman's uh, One Hit Wonder. Okay, Tal Bachman's One Hit Wonder has now subscribed. Thank you for the second Spirit Heart keeping me alive uh, that much longer. Can we beat Blue Baby if we can only get hit once? You know, invincibility's long, but it's not that long. We do have Scapular. That should give us a Spirit Heart when we get hit. Unless we have HP debt, maybe it doesn't in that case. I don't know. There's three Spirit Hearts. And Lard, oh snap, that ruined permanent Polaroid invincibility. I'm an idiot. We should have stuck with Guppy's Paw. Wrong item died. And we lost Horror Babylon too. Okay, well, I've made this harder on myself now. Yeah, this is, uh, we're, we're weaker now. Well, shit. I'm gonna give it a try. We still have a chance. Come on, little... Oh, my. Lanta. Come on, little Gish. Come on, Mr. Mega. Come on, other cutely named items. On Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer, and Blitzen. On Comet, and Cupid, and Donner, and... Lloyd Dobbs, Jr. Blue baby, the blue nose reindeer, ruining Northern Lion's dream. I really think we would have had a shot at it if I didn't pick up Lard. We would have had less, like, absolute HP. Oh, whoa! There was too many things to dodge. That was my bad. That Lard pick up without thinking about it. I thought I was in HP dead and it was just gonna give me, like, blue hearts, I guess. Ah, well. Well, as always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode in spite of my ineptitude. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.